like I mentioned earlier, there's going to be people on my mat. I have one of my purple belts is, uh, he's at least 65. Um, and, ha and having someone like that on the mat who's training alongside everybody else who's good, he's a legit purple belt, but just having somebody that has that uh, maturity on the mat, that's good for everybody. That's good for the young athletes, the 19 and 20 year old fighters. They have someone else on the mat that can be a role model for them and to help you know, model what it means to be a mature male in a way that they wouldn't if, if nobody in the gym was over 30. Having that bigger community, that bigger tribe, it's the same thing with having women on the mat. They bring a certain social element to the organization and a, and a certain, certain wisdom that might otherwise be absent. So having that where everybody's on the mat, I think is super important. It definitely creates an environment that facilitates a lot more growth because we're no longer pushing people away needlessly. And we're just by definition, we've created a place where lots of different kinds of people can come and get what they need to get out of the art. Not everybody is, wants to do the same thing. We have people who really want to compete and, and their focus is wanting to compete and that's great and that's their journey. Then we have a lot of people who, who don't want to compete at all and that's not their interest. There's something, but that doesn't mean that there's not something super valuable that they can get from, from jujitsu, right? Or from MMA.